The Pfizer coronavirus vaccine is now the first to move beyond emergency status and be fully approved by the FDA. The decision by the regulators is already opening the door for a flood of new vaccine mandates. President Biden says the nation has reached an important milestone. If you're one of the millions of Americans who said that they uh, will not get the shot when it's, until it has full and final approval of the FDA, it has now happened. The moment you've been waiting for is here. It's time for you to go get your vaccination. News for Jax reporter Brittany Muller is joining us live with reaction from a local health expert. Brittany. Tom and Pfizer's shot will now be marketed as a community. And for those still that may be on the fence, officials are hoping with now the full FDA approval, it'll convince more Americans to roll up their sleeves. More than 200 million Pfizer doses have already been administered in the U.S. since emergency use began in December. With this full FDA approval, I am very confident that we can really work towards ending the pandemic once and for all. As vaccinations bottomed out in July and hospital beds fill up, Dr. Shirag Patel, Assistant Chief Medical Officer at UF Health Jacksonville, says now that the shot is FDA approved, just like Tylenol, it'll alleviate vaccine hesitancy. With the FDA's full approval, do you believe more people will be willing to get the vaccine now? I think today's announcement is going to resonate across the country. Uh, the FDA's approval solidifies uh, what I think nearly every healthcare provider around the country has been saying. The move is expected to open the door to more vaccine mandates. President Joe Biden imposed mandates to federal employees last month. Now he's encouraging private companies to do the same. If you're a business leader, a nonprofit leader, a state or local leader who has been waiting for full FDA approval to require vaccinations, I call on you now to do that. Require it. The Pentagon immediately announced it'll require service members to receive the shot. Earlier this month, New York City, San Francisco, and New Orleans all said they'll require proof of vaccination for indoor activities. Here in Jacksonville, UNF and FSCJ both say they're not mandating the vaccine based on the FDA's approval. JU says it's requiring all employees to be vaccinated. It believes with the FDA's approval, it'll encourage more students to get the shot as well. Pfizer shot still has emergency use authorization for 12 to 15 year olds. Moderna has also applied for the FDA's a full approval of its vaccine and J&J &J plans to do the same later this year. I have also reached out to Mayor Lenny Curry's office as well as the Chamber of Commerce. Of course, we'll keep you updated once we hear back. Reporting live tonight, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.